Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to handle a dilution problem. In a dilution, the number of moles of the substance remain constant, however the volume increases. Whenever you're dealing with a dilution problem, you are always able to use the formula M1V1 equals M2V2, where M in both cases represents the molarity of the solution. Molarity is a breakdown moles per liter. V stands for volume. The units you use for volume are not particular. You just have to make sure that you're consistent. So if I use milliliters there, I also want to use milliliters for the alternate volume. One just represents the initial concentration and volume, and two represents the final concentration and volume. In the question laid before us, we are taking a sample of ammonium sulfate, and we're going to be dissolving that into water. So in the question we're told that we have 25 grams of our ammonium sulfate, and with that, looking at the fact that we need to solve for molarity, we need to take that gram amount and convert it to moles, using the molar mass of this ammonium sulfate compound. Doing that, we find we have 0.189 moles of ammonium sulfate. We have one more step as we are still trying to get molarity, which would be the initial number of moles divided by the liters of solution. Read the problem carefully. In the first case, we're taking this many moles and dissolving it in 0.1 or 100 milliliters of water, or 0.1 liters, which would mean that the initial concentration is 1.89 molar. We then take a 10 milliliter sample of this solution and dilute that one down, which means that M1 is equal to 1.89 molar and V1 is equal to 10 milliliters. Remember, we're taking 10 milliliters of the original solution and diluting that down, not the entire sample size. We are now on to the next part of the question. M2 is what we're looking for. V2 we are given. We know that we take that 10 milliliter sample, add in 50 milliliters of water, and are left then with a 60 milliliter solution. So now we have all the variables that we need in order to solve for M2. So we have M1, which is 1.89 molar, times V1, which is my 10 milliliters, is equal to M2 times my V2. And here you see that my units cancel out. When you solve for M2, you get an answer of 0.315 molar. So through these steps, we've been able to figure out what the final concentration of the solution is. Always check your answer to make sure if it lines up with what you expect. This concentration over here is much smaller than that concentration. This would make sense because you are diluting it down, and diluting things lowers their concentration. The final part of this question asks you to determine what the concentration of the ammonium ions and the sulfate ions are, individual from one another. Remember, because this is a salt, when you put it into water, it is going to break apart. You will form two NH4 plus ions and one SO4 two minus ion. This means then that the concentration of ammonium is twice that of sulfate. And sulfate would have exactly the same concentration as ammonium sulfate because of the one to one mole ratio. So the concentration of ammonium would be twice that of your 0.315, which gives you 0 0.630 molar. And the concentration of your sulfate is simply going to be equal to the concentration that we just solved for. So the concentration here would just be equal to 0.315 molar. And those are the steps you would take in order to solve a dilution problem. 